Automating applications or UI elements in Power Automate Desktop is one of the two key elements. It's very easy. Today we will open up an application, do some operations in it and close it down. So we want to automate Notepad. It's the same principle that goes whether you automate Notepad or more advanced applications. So Notepad is a good sample application. The first one is that we'll need to find the path of the notepad. So I'll go down to start and this is a good way to find path of the applications that we want to automate. I'll need to use notepad. So I right click, then I say open file location and let me just drag it in here. Here we can see this is a shortcut. So again, I right click, open file location. Here it is. So I'll need this path because I now I want to open up notepad. So here I can shift with your keyboard, right click with your mouse, and then find a copy as path, move back to Power Automate Desktop. So the first thing we will do is that we will open up this um, notepad in here. So we'll find a run application and that one. So here we'll paste in the path. Remember to move the quotation marks. This will actually have worked if we just had this, this done this, but uh, for stability and because we'll use that with a lot of uh, applications, the full path, we will just type in the full path because you might not know that with some of the apps, we can only use the endings. So always just use the full app. This will produce a variable call app process ID. I click save. Now, when I run this application, this will open up a notepad. So far, so good. So here we want to fill something in. There's just some text that could be uh, every application that we are filling something in. This is an input field, just like, you know, input fields in SAP, ServiceNow or whatever you use. So go up here and then find a populate text field in window. Take the one under form filling. So I'll drag it in here. Here we need to have a UI element that is a text box. So we're Click that drop down, say add UI element. Here you can see that in the app, I can now choose different parts of the app. That is all elements that we can fill text into. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense to fill text in here, but it is possible. We want the input field down here. So I press control on your keyboard. I repeat control on your keyboard, left click with your mouse. We have now created a UI element. Now we just need to fill the text in. And I want to say if this video helps you, please help me and give it a thumbs up. Thank you. So now we have created a working flow. Why don't we try to run it? So it will take a few seconds and then we'll type in uh, the text. There you go. You have now created your first automation in applications. Well done. We also want to make it bold text. And here I want to click format and then click font and so forth. So go up in actions. And this is just like clicking buttons in any applications. We'll find a click UI element in window and drag it in. Here we have a UI element. So again, we click this little drop down, take the add UI element. Let me just move it over here. So I find the format. That is the first button that I want to click. Press control on my keyboard, click the format. So now we're doing two things. One thing I want to show you is click this stack of paper over here to the right. That is UI elements. Here you can actually see that we have created some elements and we have different windows. So windows or actually the computer is the top level. Then we have a window and here you can see we have a little asterisk and that is because when we write in a notepad, this little asterisk uh, comes up, it means that um, it's unsaved. So that's why we have two different windows. Here we have the document text editor and best practice is to rename your UI elements. So either right click or F2, click rename. So here I want to say notepad input field. And down here I can say uh, rename I can see a format button, make something, uh, do something meaningful. So it's easy to maintain both for you and for future developers. So not any practical difference, but for um, 
For future use, you will be happy just to make it a habit. So now I can click the format button. Let me try to run it again. Here we fill in uh, the text in a few seconds. There you go. And we click the button. So um, that's it. And you can see here it actually it um, because we have we had two uh, notepads open, it uh, got a little bit confused and took the other one and clicked the format in the last one. That's why it's always good practice to close down all open applications when you begin an automation. In that way, uh, our automation will not get confused. So uh, everything works, but uh, we just need to uh, close down a notepad here in the beginning. And for that, I can find a terminate a process and drag it in in the in, in the start. Sorry, so I'll find it up here. And here I'll have a process name. So what I can do here is just click this little drop down, and either type it in. I'm lazy, so I'll do that. Or we could write it. Since we don't have any notepad open, let me just click save here and open up a notepad. You need to have the application open. So uh, I created this little trap. And I didn't, I just forgot that I should have uh, opened uh, the last one. So I like these videos because you'll see how I work. And now we can find a notepad. It's probably also the same mistake as you can make. And I think you can learn a lot for them. So from them. So then I can click notepad, I click save. So now we terminate the notepad process first. And let me just open one more. So uh, we can see that it works. So now I run the automation. I terminate the process that will uh, that closed to two of them. And now we only have this one open. So now we are clicking the format that one worked. Now we just need to click the font and get into the font options. So we go up here and then we'll have a click uh, another click UI element in window. Again, we will create the button So click the drop down, add UI element. And now you need to don't click control now. So click the format. Then when you're here, click control, press fund. Go back here, click save. Again, uh, I want you to go over to the UI elements. Here it says menu, menu item format, blah, blah, blah. Here, I really just want to say fund button. You can see it makes it a little bit more easy to read. So now we need another click UI element because when we have clicked format, font, this pop up will open. I need to click bold and then click OK. So uh, another click UI element, you know the drill. And this is the exact way you automate applications. It's straight forward, no magic here. Click this drop down, add UI element, find the bold here, press Control, and we have created another one. Then I can click save. Here it says list item bold. That might be fine. It's actually a list and it's called bold. Then we want the last one in here and we want to uh, add another UI element and click OK. So here I press, press Control and recreated that one. Click save. I think I just want to use the syntax that I used before. So OK button. Now, um, we can just actually have this one open because uh, we're terminating it up here. So let us try to run it. So we're terminating it, opening up a new instance. And again, the benefit of doing this is that we can always make sure that we start up a fresh instance where we have our rules in. And there you go. We have automated Notepad. So uh, since this one will stay, let's just uh, make it back to regular. When we want to close it, we could, of course, have this file exit and then choose if we wanted to save and so forth. You can do that. That is just more click UI elements. That is a good approach if we want to save it. Here, we don't have anything that we want to use. So let's just copy this one here, go down to the button and paste it in. We will terminate it again. Uh, we will like to see that it actually works. So I find a wait, drag it in, and let's just wait for four seconds. I click save. I only do this so you can see what's going on and not, not for any practical use. So I just started. Now um, we are filling in the text again. We are formatting in the text. So uh, now you actually learned how to automate applications. And we wait four seconds and terminate it. 
The next lesson is right up here. Go click it to learn even more Power Automate desktop.